Hi, Sean. Uh, thank you very much for uh, sending that link over. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've looked at that site. It's it's kind of pretty straightforward. There's, there's a lot of ideas I can pick out from there, um, particularly on the way it's written. I think, uh, and I'm sure you realise um, the way this, the, the website um, introduction and the sections are, are written is probably not the best. It looks like it's been uh, focused on mentioning security services as much as it, it is possible. Uh, which is the way of, st uh, of writing for uh, search engines kind of four or five years ago. Um, now it's not really kind of appreciated by Google or anybody else. They're looking for uh, the text that you know speaks to humans. They're, they're, they're clever enough now to identify um, text that's got the right kind of keywords in it without having to uh, mention them. And, and the style of writing and, and its readability to humans is as big a factor now as um, you know mentioning the keywords of security services which it looks like kind of this is written in, um, you know, really trying to overemphasize that really. And it's not necessary and it can be detrimental. So, um, yeah, we can, we can definitely improve that. And I think that the example you sent me is, um, you know, is a much better example. And there are others as well I looked at which I can take some ideas from. So, yeah, something like this. It's very corporate. Um, if that's the style that you're looking for, then that's absolutely fine. Obviously, this uh, is a facilities management company at heart, and security services is one of their um, services as well as cleaning and whatever. Um, so, but there's definitely the way that it's written. Uh, there's some good ideas in that. So I kind of guess you want a, a more corporate feel. A couple of others I looked at, which I like the the feel of, because as well as the language, which is very important, I find I believe because uh, <laughs> it's true it's, that the the images are very um, powerful as well. That having the right images. You know, help your um, target market to connect with you um, a, a lot more. It's a, it's a psychological thing. It's the way that we've been um, kind of uh, treated now to you know to, to respond to images as much as uh, as text because we've got uh, decreasing attention spans and we don't really want to read that much text. So having the right images that uh, you know get across the essence of your business and your brand and your uh, and what you do is really key. Um, just a few examples. Now, we wouldn't need to start with these, but, uh, you know, if at some stage you could get some images of your actual staff, uh, people that are on the job, you see how, you know, good quality images these are. It's going for a little bit fast, but they, they kind of uh, give a, a good idea about the, um, you know, the service that you do, and they look like they're individual ones rather than stock photographs. Now, this one here, going back to here, the, some of these are stock photographs, and they, they were actually, they, I think they've used them quite well. Despite the fact that um, there's a bit of a mix of it, that one's large right across the full screen, and the rest of the in the section here are um, uh, uh, kind of you know only two thirds of the screen or three quarters of the screen. It's, it's important to have consistency across. But these have done these kind of quite well. I would make them a bit bigger, but the way they've done them, you know, it's actually not too bad for using stock photographs. But ultimately, if, if possible, having personal images, uh, you know, uh, of your staff. Uh, people that are engaging with other people rather than just somebody on their own is it, good. I don't know if you can appreciate the uh, you know how much more appealing they are. And here's another company. Uh, now this one here is um, is a stock image, but I think it should scroll through in a minute. Um, these are actually showing their own kind of services um, on there. And as you can scroll through again, there it, it's it's very similar to a lot of stock images, but it just looks more real. Uh, that's definitely a stock image. And there was another one I think coming up at the end, which is you know just uh, uh, that, that's kind of a couple of doormen maybe kind of speaking and even laughing you know in here, it, it, it even kind of chatting and smiling to a couple of women on the front door. That kind of thing you know really gets um, uh, the message across and it kind of connects with your you know your, your audience as well, your, your target market. Um, obviously, that's just for, for door staff. Um, different services require different photographs. Anyway, I've gone off and off, off, off uh, um, on that enough, but you know, images are kind of really important. Uh, these are just a few stock images that I kind of found on a, on a site. You could probably do something with these just for security staff, but as you can see, um, personal ones would be much better. Um, okay, now. So yeah, no no problem in in taking this as influence and producing something I think would be a bit better than this because on mobile it's it's not the best experience. It's not it's not bad, but I think it could be improved on mobile. 
I did direct you to some examples of um, kind of websites, uh, which you can see from my website as well. So have a look at those. They can just show the transformations I've done, so you can get an idea of what the existing websites look like uh, before I kind of worked on them. Because it's going to hard for me to give you an impression of exactly what yours is going to look like. But all I can show is the transformations that I've made to other businesses. So you can have a look on my website here. Uh, previous projects are under here. Web design previous projects. You find some testimonials other services on there. One of the other things that I can do to help you is I notice that if I put in, um, and this is a, a separate service, uh, security services Glen Ross, then you, know, you do come up on the bottom of the page here, and that may be maybe because I've been looking at it, maybe it may come up naturally, but not in the top there. And um, on the service that I offer as an additional service is, it still coming up there, is it? Um, I, I can um, have a, what I call my SEO booster service where I can connect you with going to Google and Bing and lots of other online directories and it's going to be improving for me with a number of clients to kind of help them kind of get to the top of Google. Nothing, don't let anybody ever promise you that they can get you to the top of Google. If they do, they probably for some obscure searches. Um, it is, it's not a, an exact science, but it is possible with doing the right things the right way. Um, so we kind of got four kind of uh, main um, keywords here: financial planning, Huddersfield, and this is my client here, James Gl Glasheen, and uh, financial consultant. This is this is financial consultant again. He's from the top here on the maps. Uh, financial advisor, top. Financial planner, he's second. So out of the uh, and then financial planning, he's top. So it's just an example, and I have got other kind of similar results for other businesses. Uh, kind of three out of the four is top, and then the other one is second. And he also appears in the, um, the the organic search engines as well for these for these. Um, so you know that's something extra I can do after after you've had, had your website um, uh, created. It's just an extra service that I, that I can offer as well. Um, the, just look at the website here. Just done a a speed check on the website. There's a few things it fails on. 5.3 load time it's not it's not the worst um, but we can, should be able to get it around two to three seconds uh, loading up probably that's kind of uh, mainly because you've used some big images on there and we I would actually um, reduce them down in size and that's not physically they would still fit the full width uh, but you can reduce the file size which means that uh, th this would not be so big and generally that website should only be about one or two megabytes so I think it's probably because this is so big with images that's why it's going to slow down the load time so just want to show you those. There's a lot of things that go into a website. It's not, you know, just about the design. It's about the language and the images. It's very, very important in connecting with your, um, with your audience. It's getting people to come to your website in the first place, which is what we spoke about. You know, getting found on Google, and um, then it's obviously about making them wanting to uh, you know, take an action, and that action you want them to do is to call you. So getting across your services and by putting across your business in the way that you want it to do and you know, putting our best foot forward, then hopefully we'll you know, present your business as a professional concern uh, that can accommodate their needs and they'll want to get in touch and start a conversation with you, which is really all the website can do. Okay, so because um, all those services now, what I would charge for that would be you know, £1,200, around £1,200. And when I say around £1,200, my budgets don't go up a lot. Um, if there's any images, they're about five pounds each. If there's anything that's really unforeseen, uh, so problems in transferring the hosting over, uh, the hosting over, or, or transferring it over when it's built, then there may be a little bit more. But um, you can phone any of my clients up from their tes my testimonials. Uh, you know, I'm going to be very honest when I say a price and, and stick to that, uh, very, very, very close to that. And um, yeah, uh, I would create it on a, on, on a de development domain so this wouldn't be affected whilst uh, it was being built. And then we would transfer it over and effectively swap it with your current one once it was completed and you were happy with everything. Okay, um, if that sounds okay or you'd like to know more, then please do get in touch. And uh, hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, Sean. Have a great day. Bye. All right, just trying to stop this here.
Sorry about that. Okay, but she's going to stop it now. She is now. Bye-bye.